Hello friends, welcome to Astro Crescent. In my last video, I gave a small review, initial review of the Skywatcher AZ GTI mount. This is a part two of the series. Today, uh, I will demonstrate how you can operate this mount using the SynScan app with your phone. The first thing you need to do is to download the SynScan app on your phone. When you go to the App Store, you will see there are two versions of the SynScan app. One is SynScan and the other one is SynScan Pro. SynScan Pro has more features. In SynScan Pro, when you go to the Utility tab, you will see Advanced feature. And you can see some settings for Polar Scope, Polar Alignment, Auto Home, PPEC, and Camera Control. These features are missing in the basic SenseCan app. Take a look here. So there is no advanced tab in SenseCan app. One more thing. Uh, if you want to operate uh, the uh, Skywatcher AZ GTI mount in EQ mode, and they use other apps like Sky Safari or Stellarium, you will need the SynScan Pro app. So uh, there's no reason why uh, we should not use the SynScan Pro app right from the beginning. We might want to convert or upgrade this mount to EQ mode tomorrow by adding a latitude base. So why not uh, use the SynScan Pro app right from the beginning? So before we start the alignment process using the SynScan app with our phone, there are three important things. Number one, the tripod must be balanced. There's a bubble level over here. You can use that to see that all that the tripod is properly balanced. There's also another uh, bubble level on top of this mount. You can use that also. I personally prefer to use my own bubble level to check the balancing over here. Second, the optical tube, the telescope must be in a horizontal position. It must be parallel to the ground. Number three, it should be facing north. So my north is actually on this side, but uh, for the purpose of this video, I'm assuming that north is on this side. You can use a phone app, the compass, to see where exactly is north. So once the tripod is balanced. It's better to check it is properly locked from here. It is also locked from these three bolts here and this loop. So once the tripod is balanced and uh, the scope is facing north, turn on the power to the mount from here. Now you can use the built-in battery box with eight 1.5 volt AA batteries or you can use an external power source like I'm using. When the mount is powered on, uh, you will notice a blinking red light here. That means the Wi-Fi signal of the mount is on. Now we have to connect our phone to this Wi-Fi signal. So for that, in your on your phone, I would go to settings, click Wi-Fi, and I can see since scan some number, click that and the phone will connect, connect it. So when this is connected, I'll launch the SynScan Pro app. After launching the SynScan Pro app, if the app is not automatically detecting the location, your location, then it's better to go to settings, location, and check that your location sensor is on. Now on the main screen, main interface uh, you'll see alignment and star and deep sky utility user objects and settings on the alignment tab you'll see one star alignment brightest star alignment 
which is basically two stars and two star alignment also two stars and three star alignment along with align with sync before we start the alignment you have to connect the app to the mount so on top of the screen you will see connect tab it says since scan pro would like to find and connect devices on your your local network allow that so after connecting it is giving you an option alt az mode or equatorial mode so i don't have the equatorial mode right now so i'll select alt is it mode so there's a warning here because i'm doing that in the daytime it's giving me a warning that don't look at the sun directly without proper filters so okay thank you so i have to move, move the mount uh, this way north is on that side and the control panel is on this side so on the sense scan app if i go to alignment uh, i can reset my previous alignment from this uh, reset alignment button it says are you sure you want to reset the alignment if uh, the mount has been moved or and you had saved the previous data you can reset it now so i'll press okay and then uh, for the purpose of this video i'll go to one star alignment and now i have to choose a star uh, i'll have to make sure the star is uh, between 30 to 60 degrees preferably between 30 to 60 degrees altitude and uh, it's not it's not blocked by any building or any any tree in other words i can say if i can see some star and i know it is uh, the star i'm going to align with i can choose that in my case i'll choose this petal juice which is south 189 degrees and it is right now uh, 53 degrees up so i'll select that begin alignment and the mount is now moving to petal juice at this point uh, i'll look through my ips and if required i can use these up and down or left or right arrow keys to manually center the star in the ips once that is done i'll hit this center button with the star and the right mark this one and alignment is done so let's try one more star So I'll go to one star alignment again. This time I will try going to Polaris. So in the same list, there is Polaris, which is north, three hundred fifty-nine degrees, which is almost north, and it is forty-four degrees from this location. So Polaris selected. Begin alignment. The mount is moving to Polaris. So once again, look through the IPs. If Polaris is not centered, uh, you can use these up, down, or left, right arrow keys to center it, and then press the center button, 
and it is on Polaris. Notice that we are almost on the same position. We were initially aligned towards north, but the mount was parallel to the earth. Now, the mount is again pointing towards north, but it is 44 degrees up pointing towards Polaris. Uh, let's try one more. So I'll go again back to one star alignment. But let me go to some east side. This time I'll select Procyon. Procyon or Procyon, I don't know. And begin alignment. This star is southeast 150 degrees. Southeast 150 degrees. So north is zero, east is 90 degrees, then south is 180 degrees. So this star is somewhere in between uh, east and south or south and east. So here it is. So if you see the star in the center of the eyepiece, you are good. Just click the center button and you are done. After that, we can go to any target. If you want to see some planets, you can press this star button and solar system. Right now, Moon, Mars and Uranus are available. I can go to any of them. Let's go to Mars. Here you see two options. One is go to, so you simply go to. And the second option is point and track. So let me try this go to first. So Mars is southwest 245 degrees and 66 degrees up. Altitude is 56 degrees. So this scope is right now pointed towards Mars. Let's go back and let's go to Uranus. Click the go to first. Once it is centered, press the center button. In the same way, if you want to check some deep sky object, tap this deep sky button and you have the option on the left side Messier objects or Cardwell objects or NGC or IC if you know the number if you know the sky. Uh, for example I can select Messier 42 I remember that it is Orion Nebula. I don't know I think it's very low right now and click go to. So the mount is now moving towards Orion Nebula. It's not very low, it's uh, 29 degrees altitude. Now let's say you're done for the night. Uh, go to utilities and uh, if you want the mount to remember its position, its coordinates, its, its alignment, then you can press this hypernate button. If you want to switch off the mount in the same position, select the current position or if you want the mount to return to its home position, which was uh, north and parallel to ground, you can select at home position. So let me select at home position. The downward mount will move back to the home position which was north this way and parallel to ground. Zero, zero position. You can call it home position or you can call it zero position. Which means pointing exactly towards north and parallel to ground. Altitude is zero degrees.
In case of hibernate, if you do not move the mount, if you do not move the equipment, you can just switch off the mount and next time just turn it on and you don't have to go through the alignment procedure again. That's it for now. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.